I remember I'd watched Beyond Wrestling on YouTube when I was in Texas, and I was like, "What is this? Like this is." And it got is there me, any match? Is there any match in yeah, particular? Or any was, wrestlers? Uh, Mikey Webb versus Matt Taven was the first Beyond. Wrestling okay, match so that was like saw. one of Webb's like first ever matches. Yeah. Like Matt, it, it got me angry when I watched. It. I was like, yeah. "What is? Like, what is this? These guys are wrestling in front of each other. Like this is ridiculous. Like this isn't what wrestling is supposed to be." I just, I literally was like pissed at it. I was like, "This is stupid." And then, uh, I don't know, man. I guess. Uh, I, I think a lot of people have that first reaction. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Some, it's something totally new. It's something totally different. You know, I'll, I'll never forget. Uh, I think it was Colt Cabana that was just kind of like, you know, the whole point of wrestling is to have a crowd if you take the crowd out of it. But I think that's what, you know, I didn't have the uh, the acumen, I guess, at that time to be able to really explain it. It's like we haven't removed the crowd. We've, we've changed the way that the crowd interacts with what we're doing because we're broadcasting to a worldwide audience. So it's like maybe we don't have the crowd live in front of us right now, um, but, but in some ways we do have even more people than we'd be able to fit into a building. Yeah. So everybody with Beyond Wrestling certainly has their reservations. Your, your first impression of Beyond Wrestling, you were angry. Yeah, hey, but then I ended up, uh, I remember I saw AR Fox wrestle ACH, and I was just like, these guys can do whatever they want. Did I you know it's ACH are all from Texas? No, I didn't know who any of those guys yeah. were. Actually, did I meet ACH in Texas? No, I didn't. I never met ACH in Texas, actually. I don't think I did. But either way, uh, I remember watching these guys go crazy. And typically in wrestling, where I started, like there, you couldn't do whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. Like, you know, you had a restraint. You couldn't do a lot of this. But I saw this company of – because, I, like I said before, I loved watching Japanese wrestling. And it kind of – I mean – I don't know if I'm wearing this right. Kind of had that same mentality of like the matches I like to watch. Like these guys can you know hit hard and do whatever they want and kind of go crazy. I'm like I've never really got to wrestle like that. So I started to slowly kind of change my opinion. I'm like maybe I do want to try this company out. And then I realized, I mean, okay, I can wrestle, you know, at an Indian New England in front of you know 200 people, which could be considered a, a good you know indie show, or I can wrestle for beyond. With there's ten wrestlers around the ring, but five thousand people are seeing it. You know what I mean? So it's like in my head, I'm like, that sounds a lot better than you know what I mean. As far as exposure, it's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to get out there and work and work and work. Right. And unfortunately, sometimes you can work in front of two hundred people. It's not going to do anything for you as far as a resume. And also, getting a match edited to show to other people was almost next to impossible to do working for other companies. But your company was one. I mean, you could two cameras shoot commentary. Like, what company could provide that for you? You know what I mean? So I just, I definitely slowly changed my opinion on Beyond.